Do you know how lucky men are to have a god spot in their peach? Well, now you do. The god spot in the peach can take bottoming to a whole other level. So in this video, find out how to locate the god spot and stimulate it. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Stephen Brennan here with the bottoming tips. So in this week's video, we are going to be talking about the God spot. Focus on the G. It's just some um, bottoming slang. I thought it's time we take this stuff to the next level and you guys find out how to locate and stimulate the God spot on a man. Before we get into this video, just know that my OnlyFans now has a discount on, so I will link that in the description of this video. You can also check out all my socials at Stephen Brennan. And if you like this video, remember to leave it a big thumbs up and obviously subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with weekly posts. So the first thing we have to say is what is a God spot? It's often referred as the P spot, known as the prostate. Cisgendered men are assigned with it at birth and if you don't know what cisgender is, that's when you are born a biological male. It's great at producing intense climaxes but that's not its ultimate goal. It focuses on helping reproduction and it helps leche milk last longer when it's being propelled from the banana into a woman but if you're on this channel that probably don't mess up because most of us are getting with men and we are men. Unless you're a girl who's a bottom, love that. How do we find this? So to find the male God spot, you can actually reach it in two ways, internally and externally. Both ways feel amazing. So it really comes down to what way you prefer, but let's go with internal first. So if you want to find the God spot internally and get up close and personal, the peach provides the easiest way to get to it. It's located about two inches inside the rectum. So if you have average length, fingers that is about the first knuckle length the first knuckle deep okay it's not really that deep and it's very easy to locate it and then if you want to find it externally you can actually stimulate the god spot through the perineum now that's the landing strip of skin that runs from the scrotum to the peach it's very easy to find and this is why when guys bottom it feels great because unlike girls guys have a god spot in the peach it's obviously being pressed up against all the time when you bottom because it's not that deep. However, depending on the size of the banana, that changes the level of pressure that is applied. To start stimulating it, there are a couple things that you need to know. The first being that you have consent from your partner. This is a very intense experience and regardless of if this person is your boyfriend or maybe just a hookup, then you need to definitely have consent and you need to know what they're comfortable with. So feel free to ask them what level of intensity they like and let them just spill the beans on that. Then you, as the person who is going to be doing this and giving, you need to make sure that your hands are clean, your nails are clean, get some hygiene wipes as well. You can wipe your hands, you can wipe the peach because there's obviously bacteria always building there. And then after that, go ahead and get some lube because as we all know on this channel, lube can be your best friend and so can I. The prostate is a part that is best played with on the body when a person is fully aroused and relaxed. So some things that you can do to actually relax the person or the bottom are providing them with a hot bath or shower, put some candles, get some macaroons, get it all lovey-dovey, that will help relax them. You can massage them. You can start playing with all their pleasure points and pleasure zones of their body, which I think I will make a future video on, the male pleasure zones. And obviously foreplay, which is what a lot of you will end up doing because a lot of you don't have time to run these baths spontaneously. You might have already had your shower in the morning and you're ready to go. So foreplay can also help relax a person. Once your partner is fully relaxed, you have three positions that you can put them in so that you can actually get inside them easier. Face down, doggy, or side position where they're laying on their side. Use the tips of your index and middle fingers to rub and stroke the perineum area and give it a nice little press as well. And you need to go off of what your partner's body is communicating. So when you apply different levels of pressure, notice if your partner lets out a moan of pleasure or a moan of discomfort, and then you can kind of tell what they like. 
And you can also encourage your partner to just communicate if they are comfortable with doing that. Now, when you are stimulating a male's god spot, please remember that you can use your hand, your other hand, to play with their banana. That feels great, honestly. If I could just share this experience with you that I had recently. They were playing with my god spot and then they were playing with my banana and it was a next level sensation and I, I had to tell them to stop because I didn't want to finish too early. So once you start playing around with all of this, you want to put a little bit of lube on your finger and then go in the peach. And then you want to put about two inches of your finger in and then start moving your finger in an upwards motion towards the front of their body. If you struggle to find the actual God spot and it feels like the tip of your nose, okay? It's something round, something round. You'll, you'll know when you touch it. And once you start touching it, then you can move your finger in a come here kind of motion, like a come here, and start rubbing it like that. And that will get stimulating the God spot. And then you as the top need to remember at this point that you should be saying faster, slower, do you like that? Do you want more pressure? Are you okay? And then carry on doing this. And like I said, you can play with other parts, other sensation spots of their body whilst you're still stimulating the God spot and try and do that banana method, the banana and the God spot thing. That is going to send them wild and they are going to love it. See, it's actually very simple to locate and stimulate the God spot, but I feel like when people hear about the prostate, it becomes a little bit overwhelming because not everyone knows what to do. It's biology, it's body, it's overwhelming, but it's actually quite simple, especially if you follow this tutorial. And then if you guys are wondering what you do as a receiver, then here's what you do when you're the one who is actually being stimulated. Make sure that you go to pee beforehand because when your prostate is pressed up against, it gives you the feeling like you need to pee, but you don't. However, just go to pee beforehand so that you definitely know that you don't need to pee. You also need to be vocal and you need to tell the guy or the girl what you like and what you don't like so that they can get better and better and you can have a even better experience. And then most importantly, you actually just need to relax. Just lay down, relax, let go of the tension in your body and release. And unlike bottoming, you don't really need to be overwhelmed with fear of that it might hurt because it's just a finger. So you're not going to be in a lot of discomfort. You probably will just be fine. You won't feel much. Just make sure that the person's fingers short nails or file down nails, don't be scared because you can put in a different amount of fingers, maybe one finger, maybe two fingers. It's maybe more or maybe less. Like it's just not going to hurt really at all. So don't be worried about that. Cause I know we have some fresh bottoms out here or we just have people who really don't have a pain threshold. Okay guys, so if you want me to make a video on all the male pleasure spots and pleasure points on the body, then let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to leave this video a big thumbs up and I will release that part even sooner. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with weekly posts. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you all had an amazing pride. I love you all so much and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.